Ambulacraria is a clade of invertebrate phyla which includes echinoderms and hemichordates. Phylogenetic analysis suggests the echinoderms and hemichordates separated around 533 million years ago. Eldonia is an extinct soft bodied cambroanid animal of unknown affinity. It takes the form of a round, mesozoic disc with a C shaped gut trace. The gut is recalcitrant and can be extracted using hydrofluoric acid. The taxonomic placement of the Vetulicolians remains controversial. One researcher has argued that the Vetulicolians probably represent an early side branch of deuterostomes, and that this implies that segmentation in cephalochordates and vertebrates may be derived from the common ancestor of protostomes and deuterostomes. From their superficially tadpole-like forms, leaf or paddle-shaped tails and various degrees of streamlining, it is assumed that all Vetulicolians discovered thus far were swimming animals that spent much, if not all, of their time living in the water column. Along with the chordates, echinoderms are deuterostomes, one of the two major divisions of the bilaterians, the other being the prostomes, arthropods and mollusks. During the early development of the embryo, the blastopore becomes the anus whereas in the protostomes, it becomes the mouth. The larvae of echinoderms have bilateral symmetry but this is lost during metamorphosis when their bodies are reorganized and develop the characteristic radial symmetry of the echinoderm. The characteristics of adult echinoderms are the possession of a water vascular system with external tube feet and a calcareous endoskeleton consisting of ossicles connected by a mesh of collagen fibers. Crinoids are characterized by a mouth on the top surface that is surrounded by feeding arms. They have a U-shaped gut, and their anus is located next to the mouth. Although the basic echinoderm pattern of five-fold symmetry can be recognized, most crinoids have many more than five arms. Crinoids usually have a stem used to attach themselves to a substrate, but many live attached only as juveniles and become free-swimming as adults. Each Metoconius is the earliest known unequivocal crinoid from the Cambrian. Now there are only about 600 extant crinoid species, but they were much more abundant and diverse in the past. Some thick limestone beds dating to the mid to late Paleozoic are almost entirely made up of disarticulated crinoid fragments. Betalocrinus is the most successful genus of its family, with numerous species found. Its arms are usually wedge-shaped, akin to a guitar pig. The crinoid nervous system is divided into three parts, with numerous connections between them. The uppermost portion is the only one homologous with the nervous systems of other echinoderms. It consists of a central nerve ring surrounding the mouth, and radial nerves branching into the arms. Below this lies a second nerve ring, giving off two brachial nerves into each arm. Both of these sets of nerves are sensory in nature, with the lower set supplying the pinnals and tube feet. The third portion of the nervous system lies below the other two and is responsible for motor action. This is centered on a mass of neural tissue near the base of the calyx and provides a single nerve to each arm and a number of nerves to the stalk. Most modern crinoids, the feather stars, are free swimming and lack a stem as adults. The general style of Iran body plan consists of a flattened thicker and single jointed appendage which extends from it. 
Tests Dilepharon tests are composed of sterium calcite plates like an echinoderm, which has traditionally been the basis for assigning them to echinodermata. However, they also lack the radial symmetry characteristic of most other echinoderms, with the earlier members of the group being flattened and asymmetrical, and the later ones closer to bilateral symmetry. This reconstruction leads to the alternative hypothesis that some or all of the styloferans may have been ancestral to the chordate branch of the deuterostomes, rather than being within the echinoderms. Edrioasteroid species are distinguished by differences in the ambulacral curvature, the relationships of the cover plates and ornamentation. The mode of life was sessile. They were often attached via a stalk made of small plates to a hard object such as a carbonate hargrand or shell. Like other echinoderms, sea urchin early larvae have bilateral symmetry, but they develop five-fold symmetry as they mature. This is most apparent in the regular sea urchins, which have roughly spherical bodies with five equally sized parts radiating out from their central axes. Starfish are marine invertebrates. They typically have a central disc and five arms, though some species have a larger number of arms. The aberral or upper surface may be smooth, granular or spiny, and is covered with overlapping plates. The fossil record for starfish is ancient, dating back to the Ordovician around 450 million years ago, but it is rather sparse, as starfish tend to disintegrate after death. They are infrequently found as fossils, possibly because their hard skeletal components separate as the animal decays. Despite this, there are a few places where accumulations of complete skeletal structures occur, fossilized in place in starfish beds. Some species of starfish are able to reproduce asexually as adults either by fission of their central discs or by autotomy of one or more of their arms. Which of these processes occurs depends on the genus. Among starfish that are able to regenerate their whole body from a single arm, some can do so even from fragments just one centimeter long. Single arms that regenerate a whole individual are called comet forms. Echinoderms, including starfish, maintain a delicate internal electrolyte balance that is in equilibrium with sea water. This means that it is only possible for them to live in a marine environment and they are not found in any freshwater habitats. They are keystone species in their respective marine communities. Their relatively large sizes, diverse diets and ability to adapt to different environments makes them ecologically important. They are opportunistic feeders and are mostly predators on benthic invertebrates. Several species have specialized feeding behaviors including evasion of their stomachs and suspension feeding. The tropical crown of thorn starfish is a voracious predator of coral throughout the Indo-Pacific region, and the northern Pacific sea star is considered to be one of the world's 100 worst invasive species. Members of this genus have a central disc with five arms which repeatedly bifurcate dichotomously branching into smaller and smaller subdivisions. They have an endoskeleton of calcified ossicles as do other ophiuroids, but in their case, it is covered by a fleshy layer of skin, giving them a rubbery appearance. Like all echinoderms, sea cucumbers have an endoskeleton just below the skin, calcified structures that are usually reduced to isolated microscopic ossicles joined by connective tissue. Sea cucumbers can be found in great numbers on the deep sea floor, where they often make up the majority of the animal biomass. They communicate with each other by sending hormone signals through the water. The main aim of communication is reproduction otherwise they tend to ignore each other. They do not show territorial behavior. 
Some species, including abyssal species such as Scotoplanes globosa, can live in groups. Swimming sea cucumber have developed webbed swimming structures at the front and back of their bodies which enable them to swim up off the surface of the seafloor and to journey as much as 1000 meters up into the water column.